Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Ariel, Jason, Leon, Pierre. We're joined by a good friend, Photo. Uh, bringing you a new episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Man, I love uh, Snapback God. He's like um, fashionably late to just about everything we do now. So oh, yeah. um, look at him. He thinks he's like uh, he thinks he's some sort of celebrity. I was uh, sorry. I, I was in a meeting with the Koch brothers, and we was discussing the um, who, the Koch. No, it's pronounced. If you knew them, you'd know it's pronounced Coke. Coke. It's, it's the Coke. Well, Coke, Coke, Coke <laughs> no, Daddy Coke, 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 um, whichever one. I had a meeting with them, and we were discussing things. Sorry. Right oh, nice. No, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Well, listen, now that we have the whole crew here, we can get started. So uh, you guys ready to get started or what? Let's do it. Yep, 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 yeah, let's do it. Let's get All started right. here. First photo, up. Uh, try to keep your energy at a... At a, at a, oh, at a yeah, it's right? there. It's there. It's it's this, hat. this hat is, is doing my energy, man. All right, for ECAP City, first weeper. This one, ECAP's been doing a good job over the past year or so. But then they always throw a curveball, and this is the curveball they throw us. Oh, my gosh. Who wants a hat of the world? And then, first off, my first complaint about this hat, where's Antarctica? You showed the whole world, but no one looked at Antarctica? The penguins? <laughs> Come on, man. And there's people that go there, too. Like, there's a whole gap missing. They should put it on the brim, at least. And then um, I'll try to keep it family friendly, but like, it looks like someone jizz on this hat. So, <laughs> uh, on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, Photo. If if it looks like, if yours look like that, um, you need to go see a doctor. Oh, okay. I, 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 no, I don't, I don't photos know. Jizz, photos jizz is that little white mark all the way on the left over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii? 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 Yeah. Just because I'm like I'm Asian or Pacific Islander, like oh man. <laughs> that's, that's... But yeah, like I don't know why the heck they made this hat. They've been doing a great job, but ECAP... this hat's been this hat photo has been in their in their um repertoire for like a decade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, over ten years. They just it keep bringing it dark. back. Yeah, well, yeah, but it doesn't make it any back. any any better. <laughs> no, you know. But yeah, that's so that's a nice choice for a weeper photo. Nice job. All right. Thank you. All right. Next up. My Weeper. Everybody, stop doing Ultimate Warrior hats. Pro Image Sports Colorado, You, I mean, Pro Image Sports America, you're the, you're the latest victim of falling to Ultimate Warrior hats. This is Ultimate Garbage. Uh, these are colors that I think Photo would wear right now with his outfit. And what? No, this ain't it. I don't. Uh, I'm not digging this hat at all. Sorry. Yeah, I just no. feel like wrestling hats. They sound good, but most of the time they fail. That was actually kind of a dickhead thing you just did. <laughs> what? Making fun of Photo's outfit. We can't even see yours. It's so goddamn dark in your room. Hey, this is a UFL jersey, my homie. Okay, RGB. There you go. There you go. The, the hat is perfect with your jersey. <laughs> You're wearing a granola bar jersey. It's it, he plays for USL, uh, my friend. Oh, that, okay. But what's okay. that? Is that Nature Made? Yeah, Nature Valley. Nature Valley. Yeah, it's a sponsor uh, probably. Yeah. Is it neon yeah. green as well? No, it's it's, it's the normal Nature Valley colors. Oh, it's not neon green. Oh, okay. What's yeah, your favorite uh, Nature Valley granola bar photo? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. No, no, no. What? No, no. It's a question. What is your favorite Nature Valley granola bar? Uh, just the oatmeal. Just a regular oat one. The honey mm -hmm. one. The honey. Well, the green one. Oh, no, just the regular. Yeah, there is no regular. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I see the Nature Valley. And I just eat it. I don't look at the flavor. I just. I just oh, okay. The... <laughs> what, 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 what color is the wrapper? Green, right? <laughs> green. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, that's oats and honey. Hey, yeah. hey, this is my friend's jersey. I'm not I'm not sponsoring yeah. Nature Valley. Yeah, <laughs> right, that was man. the wrong answer. Peanut butter is the best. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll, we'll call it Nature Valley Hut now, basically. All right. Um, my weepers of the week come from NYC Mode. Um, something about these hats, they look kind of different. The shape's kind of funny. The the logos look off, um, but the colors... They look small, aren't... the logos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are these bootleg? I hope not. Mm -hmm. Um... I, I saw them on a verified um, list. The other two in this element pack don't look too bad, but uh, these two are not doing it for me. So NYC mode gets my sleep uh, weeper of the week. I wonder, like if they 
I wonder if they accidentally used uh, 3930 logos or something like that. Yeah. Because those are smaller. Maybe Way smaller, they're for, right? Maybe they they're for small. children. The shape looks mad crazy. Well, the, the, so, uh, Snap, if they made children's hats, they, they don't make the logo smaller to make it a kid's hat. They make the hat smaller. So the logo would actually look bigger. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, can see, I can see I can see photo wear in these. I have a seven and a half head. I actually have, yeah. a, I actually have yeah. a normal size head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't be your head size in you, Snap. Yeah. Um so yeah, fanatics. Um so a few months ago, um or actually all last year. They decided they wanted to take over the hat world, which I applaud them for. I mean, evil empire and everything. I rooted for the empire in Star Wars. Um, capitalism and all. But since then, they haven't released any hats. It's been like four months since they've given us anything besides program hats or or uh, like uh, the uh, spring training or batting practice hats or anything like that. It's... There's been a complete drought, and, and for being one of the biggest uh, hat buyers in the world, um, where are the second. hats? Yeah, they're the second, second yeah. they're the second biggest. Right, mm -hmm. but where are the hats? They, I mean, they're they're not even dropping on fields or anything. Like nothing. Give us something. It's crazy. Yeah, you can't even pick them as weepers. No, no, no come on, man. Nothing to drop. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, give you're, us. Some you're drying up our content. Come yeah, on, exactly. give us. Give us. I mean, they did have a couple of spring color like. Um, uh, plain Janes, which like whatever, okay, but like they were rocking it for like a, a year and a half there, but nothing, well, nothing at all. I don't know, man. You say you want them to go away, then you want them to bring more hats. I don't know, Jason. You're kind of all over the place on this one. <laughs> I, I mean, if you want to take over the hat world, take over the hat world. But you, you got, yeah. you got, you got to do it with hats. They ain't taking it over this way. Fanatics, no. uh, for, for some reason, when I read the word fanatics, all I think about is photo fittings. What? <laughs> Did you like, like, you're on your bully shit today, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no shit. Coming in, I don't know. You, you guys our guests. know that photo fittings is actually my arch nemesis. Because you know, I beat them in a rap battle. Very before. big rivals. We're very big rivals. In whoa, whoa, whoa. You keep photo your, beat you in a, in a rap battle? Yes, so that's he pretty was fucking out of, terrible. He was out of his mind, and I couldn't stop laughing at how drunk he was. And and listen, uh, yeah. So sometimes you gotta just keep your enemies closer. Hey, I beat you drunk in the rap out and still tapped on, and then he he called it. I won. So I'm gonna keep yeah. it there. Shout yeah. still. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, here's my weeper of the week. Ooh, oh my yeah. gosh. I'm not. I'm not really sure. What to make of this monstrosity? <laughs> the hat or the plate? The whole fucking thing. I mean, listen, man. I just don't understand why anyone. So, what team is this for again? Uh, one of the Indiana teams. I can't remember. It's like a minor league team. Like this is an on-field man. They got to wear this shit on the field. <laughs> I feel bad for the, these players, the man. Look at this. Or something like could, that. Could you imagine rolling up to the ballpark and you know they're like, hey, you know, listen, guy. You're wearing uh, this motherfucking hat. Like, look at this thing. <laughs> I mean, you'll go there yeah. alone because no one will want to come with you in the first place. Yeah, yeah. For, they're gonna ask you, do you work at the concession stand or do you work in the outfield? <laughs> it's this Fort Wayne like, pin caps. Listen, this thing is absolute trash. It is one of the worst hats I've ever laid eyes on. This is right there with the um, bean supper. Oh, I is think I would I would take the bean supper over this. I would wear the bean supper over There's this. three hats in my in my um trio of the most memorable shit that I've ever seen. It's this. No, no, there's four. There's this. There's the Canapolis cannonballers, the one that has like the you know the you know the goggles on it. I like that one though. Oh right, you can't you can't talk the rest of this episode. Right? <laughs> and then bean supper. And the last one are those serial killer hats. <laughs> <laughs> those are, yeah. these, these hats will never leave my memory, man, ever. And uh, this one is just like the icing on the cake. Terrible hat. Absolute sandwich, garbage. Sandwiches is actually good. Uh, listen, I, I'm fine. I don't want it on my fucking hat. <laughs> right. Like this is a business. 
if, if the meat is going to be that big, you might as well have like a hoagie, not this hamburger. Bro. Oh, don't even, don't even, yeah, no, See, no you don't go no, there. That is a proper not, tenderloin. That's not right, a casserole. That's a casserole on the, on the, in a bun. No, it's a it's a breaded pork fillet. It's like big, like a casserole. Like you can see the green beans. <laughs> no, nah, like... you couldn't handle it, photo. Only okay. real men can eat that sandwich. I'll, I'll, I'll not handle that. Yeah, you sure. couldn't handle all. <laughs> you couldn't handle all that meat, like uh, yeah. Jason, photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. I I can down that meat all all day long. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move on. <laughs> all right, sleepers. All right. So new era boy. They made this hat crossover on the White Sox. When he sold it in store at Clark Street, it sold out right away. Couldn't even make it online. So they did a sneaky restock this week, uh, I think last Wednesday. And I checked the website, all the sizes are sitting to size seven. So make mm -hmm. sure you get this hat. This thing, this thing's fire. I got this hat too, by the way. I actually bought this hat. So shout out to Nero Boy. This is an awesome hat. Nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good choice. Um, here you go, photo. My oh. sleeper, you put me onto this hat by Rare Fit. It's at Capland. This Padre script, the metallic is amazing on both the side patch and the front logo. I love everything about it. Uh, people should definitely buy this hat if they're Padres fans. Mm -mm -mm. I have this hat, it's beautiful hands, very beautiful. Nice, good choice. Uh, Sleeper of the Week comes from ProRidge, Colorado, and their collaboration with, I believe, Brim Factory. Full-size run on every single one of these hats. Um, just that to, is incorrect. The what? Indian's hat is, like, completely sold out. Yeah. Is it? I just checked it. Oh, yeah. No, their, their website's confusing. You actually have to click on the sizes to see which ones are available. All right. So, full-size run on everything except for the Indians. Um, <laughs> nonetheless... <laughs> <laughs> good, good me. I, I would have bought the Indians if it if it if it was available. Yeah, but I wasn't. just did a quick check. I, yeah, I pulled up the sizes. It showed they were all there. But um, okay, I stand corrected. But uh, the Colorado one is beautiful. The Texas one is beautiful. Um, just a nice little pack uh, from our friends over at Pro Image Colorado. Great choice. Mm. Uh, my sleeper is this uh, Detroit uh, uh, Martin uh, hook from uh, Sneaker Politics. Um, man, I love a, a big D on my, my head and, um, especially when it's got a little curve to it. Um, so yeah, this is a, it's a great looking hat. Uh, the old school logo is, uh, superb and it's an awesome hook. So make sure you guys go pick this up. I can't get Gina's head it, it out of my mind now when I see this, this logo in the headboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, my sleeper of the week. Uh, they haven't come out yet, but this is uh, Buffalo's uh, Buffalo New Era, the flagship store. Um, I don't know, man. DJ Mac is putting out some great, great MILB caps. So don't sleep on the work that DJ Mac is putting in. This Beaumont Gators, Vero Beach, and Erie Sailors is just absolutely amazing. They're, they're all great, man. These are sick hats, but that Gator is just something else. Mm -hmm. Get your proxies ready. I know uh, Buffalo's a tough place. I know not a lot of people want to live there. There's a um, Beaumont in Texas? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because I'm from California. There's a Beaumont in California. That's why, that's why I was like, oh. Well, I'm not sure. That, is that Texas? Yeah, it's Beaumont, Texas. Yeah, it's Beaumont, Texas. That's okay. the one that's known. Yeah, Beaumont. The, but that one, that hat is absolutely incredible. And, like, listen, man, uh, get your proxies ready. Uh, these are, these are uh, in-store onlys. But um, find someone that can help you out out there, and I'm sure, I'm sure you won't be sorry. So that's my sleeper of the week. As we move into everybody's keepers. And photo, there's a main street in every city. Okay. <laughs> All right, first keeper, Arts and Rec. So they're a skateboard shop in San Diego. They dropped the Legends pack. It's inspired by Junior Seau. So the green hat right there, it's inspired by the high school he went to in Oceanside, and of course the blue. That's, of course, the classic charger colorway right there. Mm -hmm. And if you see in the top right, there's a picture of me with a skateboard and everything has to side. But beautiful pack. Shout out to Crown Collect for making this crown clean hometown Hezzy. Yeah, shout out to the crew for, for dropping this hat last Saturday at Arts and Rank. I don't know who was harder, you or the floor. The oh, the, the lighting and the floor is, is awesome, you know. Uh-huh. That's not what we're just talking about, photo. Oh, oh okay, okay. 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 I go hard. Good, good. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, second keeper. So Berdines, they did a drop for Windy City Wednesdays with Humble Hatter. This is the Guardians hat he made. It was inspired by the Guardians movie with Kevin Costner that came out, I think, in 06. Now, now the colorway, it comes also because Humble Hatter used to serve as the Coast Guard, which was what the movie about, the Guardians and the Coast Guards. So I like the meaning by the hat, military service, shows about Humble Hatter's roots. Shout out to him. And I just think I just like how he puts like his connection with the military and the sneaky two tone he put there with the black and the navy all in one hat. And it was a very successful drop. It sold out right away at Berdeen's. So that's my first uh, second keeper. I love very it. nice hat. Good pick. I love it. Okay. Well, my keeper goes out to Hat Club and Rosie by Sneaker Fiend Day. This is the Dirty Sprite Astros. Who doesn't love a good old Astros? When it's mixed with some codeine and dirty sprite, and yeah, I love the colorways. Congratulations to her, amazing hat! Shout out today. And my next keeper goes to 95 North, Miss Les, cooking up this Vegas Gold Texas script. Uh, I love the green UV with this, it makes a perfect color combination. And the final season side patch is amazing. Nice choice. Yep. My keeper of the week uh, is Stills East versus West Pack. Um, we ran a giveaway for them, or we helped them promote a giveaway where you guys guess the final score of the NBA All Star game. He's going to pick a winner, whoever's closest. He's also going to pick a winner for um, a person who guessed the winner, either East or West. So shout out to Shaheen and the team um, for letting us promote that and uh, pushing me to, uh, well, Pierre for pushing me to make a short. It was my first short. So. You know, uh, these two good hats are from Still. Photo's not even allowed to look at Still hats anymore. What? I got a I got a gift card because of you. Yeah, but I mean, you went to the other side, so. Oh yeah, because I got have Anthem coming up. Mm. Nah, I like I like both stores. They're good. Still, what are you guys talk? What are you guys talking about? Yeah. He has a story right. me about about this whole shit, this Anthem Still thing that we have. <laughs> Second keeper of the week comes from Leaders. Uh, they've been doing a lot of basketball inspired base basketball inspired baseball hats lately. This is the Barcelona '92 pack, highlighting the Dream Team. A lot of cool hats in here, um, highlighting some of the best basketball players ever. Um, they also just dropped a '63 Pinnacle Performance hat. But yeah, Leaders has just been doing good stuff. Stepping outside the just the Chicago stuff, like to see it. And uh, yeah, clean work. Yeah. They did a great job on this pack. I got the Patrick Ewing. I wish I would have got the Chris Mullen and the Clyde Drexler and the Larry Bird and the Magic Johnson. So all of them, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like the Pippen and I don't like the Jordan. Fair enough. Okay. Good pack, though, nonetheless. Uh, moving forward. Uh, yeah, my keeper. Uh, not often you see a Washington Nationals hat pop up. Maybe, maybe once in a while. There was one a couple weeks ago that I liked, but this one's really good. Pat used that... Uh, uh, alternate logo from the Nats and, and threw the Golden Dome on there uh, as the capital should be. Um, colored the patch really nice. Uh, yeah. This is a, a keeper for me, for sure. Mm -hmm. Good picture. And then, uh, speaking of uh, Crown Legends, uh, their Sneaky Two-Tone Boston 1961. Um, I love Sneaky Two-Tones. I love gold logos. And I love that 61 side patch. Uh, gray bottom. Yeah, it checks all the boxes for me. Oh, beautiful hat. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Nice choice. All right, my first keeper of the week comes from uh, Fan Treasures. Uh, <clears throat> this three-pack is out of control, man. Ridiculous. So I guess that's Minnie Minoso, Jackie Robinson, and Roberto Clemente. That mm -hmm. Clemente is like – it's right there with the John Jay versions. I'm sorry. It, it, it is. This thing is just beautiful. Oh. I love the Heather – on the uh, Brooklyn cap, it matches the jerseys of that era. Just a really well done pack. John Demary and the team over at Fan Treasures by Pro Image um, mm -hmm. did an outstanding job. Um, nice job with that. That's my first keeper of the week, and my second keeper of the week. Ooh. All the right. So this pack, this this NBA this NBA jersey inspired pack was fantastic. I wanted to show off the two favorites, uh, Detroit and Atlanta. I think, listen, I'm pretty sure they're both sitting in full size runs. Yeah, these were going to be my sleepers, but you had turned in your homework before me. 
Um, long, yeah, these keepers, the, keepers, whatever you want, right? These are yeah. so good, and they're still sitting, which is crazy right. to me. There's people ask me, "Oh, can you help me secure them? Can you help me secure them? Just go on the site right now, like they're there." So, um, yeah. these are great. All the right keeps knocking out of the park, and this pack was was very, very good, very well done. My two favorites being Detroit and Atlanta. So uh, that's it, fellas. I love it. That brings this episode of Keepers, Weepers, and Sleepers to an end. Congratulations, photo. We just popped your cherry on Views from the Vault. All right. It's all good. I'm enjoying my time here. So it's been really good. Yeah. Well, listen, guys, I want to thank you uh, for joining us this evening. Snapback, uh, thanks for uh, being fashionably late. No, or, no. I was right on time at the buzzer. Oh, okay. that's, that's late. If you're not five minutes early, you're late. Yes, exactly. Welcome to my world, Snap. And yeah. Photo, uh, you kept your anxiety somewhat in check, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone more nervous about a YouTube video in my life. <laughs> you did really well. So uh, with that, uh, do you have something else to say, Snapback? You've been, you've been uh, insulting this young man the entire yeah, show. Cool. What is like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I get to the head? Do I not get to the head? Do I pick another head? Do I pick a head? Do I pick a <laughs> Do that, do that. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey, I did good. I, I don't know good. how we're going to do this yeah. live. This is going to be banana. You, you did very well. You did very well, Photo. Thank yes. So with that, uh, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video, uh, despite uh, Snapback being rude to our guest. Uh, Viewsmanvault.com, get your official merchandise from us. For Ariel, Jason, Leon, Pierre, and Photo, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace. Love you. Brought to you by VFTV.